hello hello good afternoon good day to you guys um i just want to um yes welcome you back to my channel and today we're going to be doing um some um a video on um palette mixing for this um renaissance um fantasy um painting and here i'm showing you here is my palette colors we have the yellow okra sienna ultramarine blue and titanium white those are the colors that we're going to be using today for this painting and as you can see um, my palette is actually there on the canvas itself that's what I usually do with my paintings um, now when I first started off painting it didn't really start off that way I usually place my my colors onto an actual like glass palette um, and that's you know I had room for that and whatnot but you know when you're actually I'm in an area where with, I'm with my kids are around my little ones and um, I just really didn't want that to be a problem and not being able or uh, having a room to actually place the palette and just to yeah so it makes it much easier for me just to put the palette colors right there on the white of the canvas that way I would be able it's more it's better access for me as I'm painting so yes um this video like I said before it is particularly focused on palette mixing I'm going to be showing you how to do a palette mixing um, of the colors here and um, what we're going to um, focus on for this particular um, <clears throat> sequence is um, the dry we're going to be painting the sleeve of this dress here the sleeve of the, of the dress is going to be um, painted and so I'm just getting and what I'm also using, um, one of my mediums, my solvents that I use, um, is since I do paint in oil, um, I usually use vegetable oil, canola oil. And for this particular um, painting, what I'm doing right now, is I'm using um, lard. <laughs> it was actually one of the first times um, I am using yard. I used the lard for the last painting. Um, that I did and so I'm I just wanted to see how this works out um, so as you can see I am mixing the ultramarine blue with my titanium white because the look the the color that I'm looking for is like a baby powder like a powder blue sky blue for um, the sleeve of the dress and um, as you can see um, I'm just blending, mixing away, blending and mixing away. And one of the things when you actually are blending your palette, mixing your palette, you don't want to use too much paint. Any of you that who are beginning painters, you don't want to use too much paint um, because it just like slides off and it becomes a little bit runny. Um, you just want to use just enough just to get the um, trajectory going. Um, you want to keep it a little bit matte, not dry, but a little, a little wet, but still matte look. And um, it's just consistency. It's all about consistency, mixing up your solvent, which I'm using my lard for here. Um, consistency with the blending of your painting and just um, getting the right, you know, color that you need. Oh, now, mind this. This color that you're seeing now, it is an underpainting. This is an underpainting. And oh yeah, I have to mind my time for this video because this video is not very long. Um, so um, yeah, I'll be running up here in just a minute. This is part one. This is part one for the palette color mixing video. Um, please um, stay tuned and, and catch, um, continue watching for the part two the palette color mixing because we'll get more into detail what I'm doing and my the technique and just the build of the um, the dress and the fabric and whatnot um, so yes and you will be able to see more of that in the next videos so um, I just want to thank you so much for just coming by and um, 
yeah, just looking, just getting the very first, you know, get your feet wet for palette coloring. Um, and um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.